No, this isn't the last video I just made on the Marvels, but I do have something to add to that subject because I was wondering why they're going to delay the movie. They're, they're citing the strikes, but they released the trailers after the strikes have already started. So it seems strange that they would be like, we're going to start marketing this movie and then a week later turn around and be like, oh, well, maybe we should uh, stop because of the strikes. But I think I'm starting to understand why. So right now we have this that just came out. So they had the final episode of Secret Invasion. And I think the people over at Disney saw the numbers, the people that are actually tuning in to watch this and are thinking this is not good, especially when you consider Nick Fury is one of the big stars of the next movie. And when you scroll down into this article, it's talking about just kind of a recap of what the show is. But one of the more thing, important things that people are talking about this morning is the fact that Amelia Clark's character is actually imbued with all the powers of all the Avengers, pretty much everyone making her the, the most powerful character in MCU, which is just ridiculous. Like, yeah, to just get this random person, just give them everyone's power. It's like, it, it's Superman without the kryptonite. It's, it's a little ridiculous. Actually, no, it's Superman with the power of all the just other, every other member of the Justice League, but without any weaknesses. It's like, okay, well, that's kind of boring, but you do you, I guess. Uh, but I don't know. Some people apparently are happy about this. I mean, I actually, some bots are probably happy about this. I don't think anyone actually likes this stuff. And that's probably the main reason why they're thinking like, oh, well, maybe we need to let it kind of simmer a little bit before we release our next movie in a couple months out into November isn't long enough. But it also probably doesn't help too that Secret Invasion was the second worst rated show for the MCU on Disney Plus. And it's second worst. And right behind uh, with the worst being Miss Marvel. And coincidentally, those two characters also feature prominently in the next movie. I mean, one of the things they're trying to do now to help reshape Miss Marvel is just to kind of put her out onto ABC network. This to actually get people to watch the show first and foremost. I mean, of course they made a show for teenage girls uh, in a cinematic universe. that's usually not catering to that demographic. And at the same time, they're trying to say like, oh, well, you can just watch this show as a one-off. You don't have to pay attention to the whole shared universe, even though the shared universe is kind of the selling point to the MCU. You can't have your cake and eat it too and say like, yeah, anyone can just come in at any time. But at the same time, it's like, you better watch every one of our shows and movies. Otherwise you'll be lost in what's going on. I mean, it, they're way just trying to alien or, I don't think they're trying to, but in a way they are alienating the audiences that they do have instead of trying to bring in new audiences. But I mean, I guess that's the strategy. I mean, I don't think it's a good one. And as a result with other shows like secret invasion, things like that. I mean, look at the rating. I mean, it's just not good for them. I mean, people say like, Oh, well it's still positive. It's like, you, you can say that, but I really, I mean, yeah, even the critics don't like this show. So, it's basically they see this show it finally wrapped and it's like okay this is supposed to lead into the marvels and no one cares about this it was just a big dud and now they're looking at their big budget movie and seeing like well is there other time that we could release it that's maybe less competitive that would probably bring us the most money i think first and foremost that's their goal is it's not the strike or the actors being able to do the publicity junket for it that's set that's causing them to think like should we delay it it's really just the fact that like we need to find something without competition in the theater. So this is the only thing that left to watch. I mean, I mean, it would be funny if they delayed it after November and just start dumping it in January where pretty much every studio uses as their dumping ground for stuff that they're not proud of. And I don't think that they'll do that, but I, I don't know. Stranger things have happened, but let me know what you think in the comments. And if you like this video, click that like button, share the video and subscribe to the channel. If you want to stay up to date with the latest news. Thank you.